One of the teachings of Yogi Bhajan is take it all with a grain of salt, my friends. Have a great time. It is not me, it is Yogi Bhajan's teachings. It humbles me to offer you them. I'll do the best I can. And I pray that it serves you. I pray that it get, you get out of the way of what comes up for you in this, in Kundalini Yoga as Tapa Yogi Bhajan. It's different. We give you stamina, grit, vitality, and courage. And we give you an opening to find your authentic voice. And I, if anything, in my soul's purpose and destiny is to do that for you today. I just a little taste. Because we're going to continue on this journey together. On the mat and off the mat. And how to integrate. And one of the things we really explored over the decades of yogic practice is that yoga is to yoke is a union it's to squeeze you in most uncomfortable places right challenge you because we are met with so much challenge right now in the outside world as we all have faced in our personal lives we never know who's going to come into this studio, walk through the door with what? And usually we never know, right, as teachers. Only you know what you're bringing in. So how are you going to integrate and go out into the world and use it? We're going to give you tools for that. We're going to show you a list, give you a list, show you ways, actually integrate experience. The Kundalini is the experience. It's the meditations and it's the frequency in which we can rise our awareness and raise our awareness to a place in which we can have an experience and we remember because we're working on subconscious leveled patterns. So we will give you tools and you'll be able to use them in your workforce in your household, in your life, in the way you heal yourself when you're sick. All that is included in sana. Satnam and blessings. Inner assessment in three parts. We're working again on intuition and insight as we've opening up the awareness around the sensory system and the pituitary gland. The left hand comes right in front of the body. The elbows relaxed and the left arm is just straight up and down at a slight angle, just ever so slight, 15 degree angle. The right hand comes, fingertips come right down near the bottom of the palm and the the whole palm rests against the interior of your forearm. So straight there. And then take the position, spine straight, chin in, close your eyes down, and assess how you feel. Breathe long and deep for three minutes time here and focus at the third eye point, bringing those hands into a modified prayer pose. Isn't that beautiful? Right at the center of your chest, okay? Try to slow down the breath, bringing long, deep, slow breath. Next step, we'll move this prayer coming together into the third eye point, and we'll press the third eye point with the thumb tips right at the root of the nose, close the eyes down, and breathe long, deep, slow breaths. 
three minutes. Diaphragm expands and then on the exhale, knit the ribs. And then on the third posture, we'll move to the inner strength of knowing your inner strength. So left hand on the heart, right hand over. The second posture was for your projection. So when you're holding your palms, thumbs here, you're projecting. And when you come here, you're finding your inner strength. And when you're here, you're working on your inner balance. So we're gonna put each one of these together for three minutes, okay? So that's one, this is two, and this is three. And each one's three minutes, eyes are shut down, long, deep, slow breathing. That's it. How still can you maintain your meditation, please? How still? Don't move, don't scratch, don't think. Just smile, breathe, long and deep. and something else.